Is there a crossing option here? Cross for Haaland has to score. Let's go boys. We've made it 1-0. And it's a header as well from Haaland. He can. Rashford stops it and turns brilliantly. That is unbelievable from Marcus Rashford. Just how good is he man? Like honestly. Last episode, Liverpool got the better of us in the Champions League semi-finals. 1-0 at Anfield was the score and we've got everything to play for now at Old Trafford. If we lose this game to Liverpool, this could be the last episode of this season. Heck, it could be the last episode of this series. So, a lot to play for for us against Liverpool. And this, a game at Old Trafford, is going to be epic and series-defining. Also, in this episode, we should be able to wrap up the Premier League title and win the championship over Liverpool. That is what I'm hoping for. We just need one win and it should be done. Even a draw, actually would make things work. Also guys, I'm super excited to announce that the Serie A is going to be our next destination. We're going to be doing a Serie A career mode after this and I genuinely can't wait with the realism mod and all that sort of stuff we can change. Kids every season, it's going to be tons of fun. So yeah, expect a Serie A career mode once we've completed this Manchester United one. So let's keep our focus and attentions to this Man United series because it's the business end of the season and we've got a lot to play for. If you're enjoying this series, drop like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and let's get things underway. Press conference to start the episode. Do you feel you're getting to the point in this career mode that your team is getting where you could be winning all your games? Absolutely. I feel like this is a squad that barely needs any more improvements. Yeah, we could maybe do with another centre back, but really the team we've built is just absurdly good. Like honestly, this team might be one of the best career mode sides I've ever built and that shows on the pitch we conveniently beat more teams. And that's exactly why I'm thinking of moving to a Serie A career mode after this for a bigger challenge in a different league. But it all depends on whether we can win the Champions League or not in this series. It all depends on that Liverpool game at Anfield. But you're right, the team we've built is just nuts. Next up, who is your favourite player in this career mode? I think it's got to be Marcus Rashford. I've absolutely enjoyed using him in this series. He gives me Cristiano Ronaldo vibes, honestly, especially with the stats he's got now, the weak foot, the skill moves. Rashford is just insane in this game and I've absolutely enjoyed using him over these two seasons. He's got to be my favourite player of this series with probably Bruno Fernandes coming in a close second. Next up, I don't know why you're playing such good football with the club and edging towards big trophies but still your manager rating is so low. That is EA for you. That's because we've got a stupid objective of signing like three Asian players for marketing purposes and as I haven't completed that, the manager rating is hovering at 65 but I reckon as soon as we win the Premier League title, that manager rating should shoot up and things should be normal. Anyway, since possibly this is the last season, the manager rating uh, doesn't really matter for this series but that's exactly why things are so weird with the manager rating. With that press conference done, let's keep moving. We keep praising Marcus Rashford episode after episode. He just keeps destroying teams, scoring goal after goal, 34 goals already this season, and he's showing no signs of stopping. Yet another player of the episode award for him. If you remember guys, last episode I was a bit confused because Bruno was still on 18 assists when we did actually get a couple more assists with him in the Prem. So I thought, you know, maybe the game has glitched. I initially thought it was just my counting that was bad, but I went and reloaded an older save file and his assists were still at 18. So the game is kind of glitched right now with Bruno's assist and it isn't counting it anymore. It's like, is some Henri fan doing some nonsense here with me? I don't know, but Bruno Fernandez's assist counter on this game is glitched. Maybe it's because it's on next gen FIFA and the game has a few glitches or something. So... We're going to count it as 20 assists because he actually has 20 assists in the Premier League and not 18. The game is glitched. You guys should see that when Bruno gets another assist in this episode, it probably won't count. So that's a bit of a weird one on this game right now. Season goals wise, as I just talked about Bruno, we're going to count it as 20 assists. He possibly has even more assists than that. We just don't know because the game stopped counting it. Andre fans have ruined the My FIFA copy. Anyways, apart from that, in this episode, we can actually complete a few objectives and let's keep doing that. For us guys, this is it. The big game of the season and the storyline is there for us. Manchester United versus Liverpool at Old Trafford and we've got everything to play for. We've got to turn this game around. Juventus also in a similar situation with Barca but of course... Barca have the lead at the camp now. We are behind Liverpool at Old Trafford in front of our home fans. 
It has to be. It has to be done, guys. Manchester United versus Liverpool. We've got to turn the situation around. This is the most unbelievable squad I've built on career mode. And we cannot bow out of the Champions League semi-finals two seasons in a row. That is not happening. We've got to get the better of Liverpool. Can your boys fight back? The team's definitely capable of it. On paper, our team is far superior to Liverpool. I think we cannot disagree with that. So we have to fight back. Now, one problem we do have is no one Bisaka, no Upamecano. And that is a big, big loss. Brandon Williams with the opportunity of a lifetime. Champions League semi-finals. He's starting. Can he put in a good performance? Let's hope so. Apart from that, my strongest team starts. Ramos, Alaba, Van de Beek, Bruno Fernandes. I'm ready for this. Liverpool looking jaded. A lot of the players not on full stamina. We've got to take advantage of that. Here we are at Old Trafford, 1-0 down to Liverpool. Let's go ahead and turn this game around. Not gonna lie, this might be the first time in this series we're in a situation like this, you know, being 1-0 down from the first leg, looking to try and turn around the situation. Let's see how the team responds. We've got to knock out Liverpool. I ain't taking anything less than that. Also, if you remember, Mikel Oyarzabal had also picked up a knock in that last episode. So it's good to see he's recovered. First chance already for us. Mikel Oyarzabal, difficult angle. Let's go, guys. Within five minutes, Mikel Oyarzabal gets the goal. 1-0 up against Liverpool. And I finally remember to do new celebrations. I forgot to do that in the last episode. But forget about that, guys. What a moment in the first five minutes. Mikel Oyarzabal, who was a big doubt for this game since he picked up a bruised shoulder injury, has come on and just scored within five minutes. Just the start we needed. We've nullified Liverpool's advantage. Oyarzabal beats Alisson 1-0 up. Let's go, guys. Just what we needed. Let's keep pushing from here. We have what it takes to knock out Liverpool. Come on. Mikel Oyarzabal showing that he is the number seven now at Man United. And he scored seven goals in the Champions League as well. That's a bit funny. But here we go, guys. We're back in this one. Come on. Here we go with Brandon Williams. Manchester United on the front foot here. This is incredible. Bruno Fernandes with a chance. Still Bruno. Ah, Trent Alexander-Arnold with the block. But we're dominating Liverpool here. Creating chance after chance. This is what we need. Let's keep pushing and try and make it 2-1. Mikel Oyarzabal. Brandon Williams making a good run. But Mane has tracked back well. Brandon Williams has done even better. Van de Beek. Now Bruno. Chance to score. Ah, oh, that's a big block. But Bruno's still on the ball here. Still Bruno Fernandes. On the turn. Tries to get a pass back in. Robertson with good defending. But so far, as I've said, it's all Manchester United. And we've got to keep it that way. Mikel Oyarzabal, the hero of our team so far. Haaland. Now looks for Bruno. I see Marcus making a good run. Rashford brings it inside. Still Marcus goes for goal. A big block coming in. From Liverpool, Alex Tell is whipping in this ball. Haaland attacks it, but it's cleared away by, I think, some defender. I think I think Haaland got the final touch on it, so it's going to be a goal kick. But first 30 minutes, Manchester United coming with all the intent in the world, and it's showing on the pitch. One thing we cannot forget, since Liverpool have the away goal advantage, if they score another goal, we'll need to score two more. So at this situation, we can't afford them to score. Oh, Black with a big save, cleared the ball away, Van der Beek. Which we do. That was intense. Liverpool's first chance of the game. And that was scary. All Black saving the day for us there. And on the other end of the pitch, it's Erling Haaland on the attack. In that first leg, he missed a few clear-cut opportunities. That pass was awful from him. Oh, he's not having the best of nights against Liverpool yet again. A bit of space here. Ramos with a strong challenge. And now Brandon Williams chasing Sabitza. Harassing him as much as he can. Sabitza back inside for Firmino. Who's had a really good game with his track backs and skills. It's so difficult defending against Firmino. He scored many times against me. Firmino yet again. Kimmich trying to do everything he can. But Liverpool on the attack yet again. So difficult to handle. Henderson on the ball now. With space. Puts the ball in. Brandon Williams with one of the best tackles you'll see. Saves us from that situation. One all at half time. Liverpool have woken up ever since we got that early goal. And it's been an even game. One all. I think Liverpool still have the advantage. Because if they score just one more goal, we'll need to score two. So far as things stand, this game is going to go to penalties. Let's see what the second half has got to offer. Guys, I'll be real with you. Haaland has just been embarrassing in this game. Has done nothing. So, I'm going to play Rashford striker. And I'll bring on Dan James out wide. I just need some extra pace. I think Renato Sanchez in midfield could help with the extra legs. 
there you go those are the three changes i'm making right here right now i think i made only a couple but anyways whatever those two players coming on could help change the game for me even before the substitutions are made it's bruno fernandez bringing the ball forward Haaland, can he have that one big moment he's made a good run here he goes erling Haaland with the goal that could send us to the champions league final and just before the substitution was made Erling Braut Haaland comes up clutch with the goal. We're doing the meditation celebration. I completely forgot to do a new celebration, but who freaking cares at this point? It's Bruno with the assist, Haaland with the goal. Manchester United now lead 2 1 in aggregate. Oh my god, what a moment. All that criticism for Haaland, but in the end, you create a chance for him. He will come good for you. We're leading 2 1 up. It's not all over yet because if Liverpool score another goal, they'll go through based on the away goals rule. So we still need to keep fighting, but that is a big goal for us. Well, at least this game is not going to penalties. Come on, boys. 2 1 up. Let's just keep our composure intact. Oh my god, is this, this the last 15 minutes going to be nuts? This is epic. Oh, look at Dan James. And now we've got an additional outlet of pace in this team. And let's make it count. Dan James, cut back for Marcus Rashford. Oh, a Rabona finish from Rashford to embarrass Liverpool. It's 3-0 up. Liverpool left gaping gaps at the back. And we took complete advantage of it. And Rashford with the cheekiness to do a Rabona finish. Come on. I know you all, all you had to do was beat the keeper. But it was still saucy for him to do that. Oh, my God. Look at that from Rashford. 3-0 and I think it's done. Liverpool now need two more goals to go through and we ain't conceding two in the last 10 minutes. We're not bottling from here, guys. Let's get it done. Let's book our spot in the Champions League final. There you go, guys. It is done. We've knocked out Liverpool from the Champions League and we've made it to the Champions League final for the first time in this series. Let's freaking go. This was tough because Liverpool had chances in that first half. Oblak had to make a save and yeah, it was difficult. Haaland came good, Rashford with a cheeky goal as well, 3-0 up against Liverpool and with that we've now made it to the Champions League final, let's find out who we'll be up against. Was it good to have Oyarzabal back? I am so glad he recovered from that knock because we needed him and he scored the first goal with a brilliant run down the right flank, how important is he to our team honestly? And it's Barcelona we'll be facing in the Champions League final, Leo Messi up against us, this should be interesting. Yeah, they got the better of Juventus just about though. 3-2 on aggregate. Here we go. <sighs> Barcelona next episode. Champions League final to wrap up this series. Let's hope we can do it with the trophy. Alright guys, the rest of the episode is going to be about wrapping up the Premier League. Now we don't have to do much. All we need is one more win and that's it. The Premier League title race is done. We will be crowned champions of England. So it's Crystal Palace up next. Let's actually play this game beat Palace, win the title and then after that we'll sim the last game of the season, we'll take a look at all the stats of the Premier League this season and we'll end off the episode that way. So a clear plan for the rest of the episode, let's get done with this Palace game. Making a few changes for this one against Palace, I'm starting Thomas Hale as well so we can complete the Youth Academy objective. Apart from that you've got Bruno, Greenwood starting as well, Renato in midfield, a few changes here and there but it's still a strong team that should wrap up the Premier League title for us. Even if we get a draw, I think that's going to be enough for us to win the title. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's just go out there with the intention of winning. Here we go. I mean, all the hard work we've put this season in the Premier League. And this is where we've got a chance to, you know, get that trophy. If we win this game, I think there will be trophy celebrations. So let's win the Premier League against Palace. Let's make it happen. Oh, Marcus Rashford. It'll be fitting to see him get a goal in the game that wins us the Premier League title. But it's going to be difficult because Palace, look at how deep they've dropped. It's going to be tough scoring against them here. Oh, ball. Crossing option here. Lovely ball for Bruno, but of course Bruno isn't getting on the end of that. He's not really good in the air. Here we go with Bruno Fernandes. Sees Marcus Rashford in space. Has to be a goal. It is a goal. The goal that could win us the Premier League title. Bruno Fernandes with the assist for that one. And Rashford scores. That should be Andre's record broken by Bruno Fernandes. A lovely simple assist. And Rashford does what he does best, guys. Gets in behind the defence and just, just slides it home. Brilliant finish. 1-0 up against Palace. It was a very tight game before this. We weren't creating as many clear-cut chances. So I'm happy we've broken the deadlock. And hopefully that's the first of many goals on this one. Looks for Renato Sanchez. Oh, that is brilliantly done from him. Renato Sanchez crossing this one in. A header potentially. Bruno Fernandes. How has Gaeta saved that? Nah, man. Bruno Fernandes on the volley couldn't convert from there. That should have been 2-0. Anyways, half-time. We've got the lead. Just 45 minutes to go. As things stand, we will become champions of England. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm, I think Greenwood has had a bit of a nightmare, so we'll bring on Haaland. 
and let's hope Halan can get a goal with his head as well to help us with the objectives. Marcus Rashford gets past his man, could be another goal for him as uh, the keeper makes a good save. Hopefully these missed chances won't come back and haunt us guys because we've had a lot of opportunities now and we haven't taken quite a few of them so yeah, bit worried on that front. Renato scooping this one for Mikel Oyarzbal, this could be the goal, again blocked by Palace. They're holding on to this 1-0 scoreline man and it's frustrating. Though this might be the chance we've been waiting for. Erling Haaland here. Still Haaland breaks through. Has to score. Again a save from the Palace keeper. He's saving everything tonight. Oh, they've got an in behind here. If we let them score now, I'll genuinely be gutted with myself. And we might actually let that happen. I can't believe this, guys. Told you, man. Those missed chances are coming back and haunting us. It's 1-1 against Palace. Wow. I genuinely can't believe we've let this happen. Well, there's still time for us to go for that winner. Let's get it done. I want to win the Premier League title with a win. Back to Holland. Back inside for Bruno. This is some nice football from us. Now it's Mikel Oyarzabal. Cross in for Holland. Far post. Ah, the keeper gets that. Oh my god. Jordan Ayew has just broken through my defense. And what is going on here? Oblak with a save. If they would have scored from that attack, guys. And they could, they could still score. What is going on here? Alex Telles wins that, but... My god, we could have actually lost this game right there. But now on the breakthrough, something could happen if Oyarzbal can get there. No, he can't. Oh, we're actually going to drop points to Palace of all teams. My god. Renato Sanchez sees Haaland. Haaland, they're opening up a bit of space. Still Haaland. Looks for Marcus. Rashford can't score. Renato. I hate this game. I, I, I really hate this game, guys. How have we not won this? It's a draw. And I don't think we've won the Premier League title. I don't think we have. Oh my god. How? I'm stupid guys. Honestly, this should have been a win. And we should have decided the Premier League title right here, right now. But, oh well. That's such a bummer guys, honestly. To make matters worse, Renato Sanchez has suffered a bruised shoulder injury. But he should be back for the next game. So that's alright. The gap is now two points between us and Liverpool. We completely threw away that chance against Palace. And now guys, we're gonna have to play against Burnley in the final Premier League game of the season to wrap up the title again. A draw should be enough to win the title for us, but I want to beat Burnley. I think it's kind of fitting that it's Burnley of all teams we're playing at the end, but remember, if we lose this game and Liverpool beat Wolves, they'll be champions of England and it'll be the biggest bottle job ever in the Prem. So let's go out there and secure the title. By the way, guys, if you haven't noticed, Burnley are 19th in the Premier League. No excuse for us not winning this game. I'm going with my strongest team. Let's blow them out of the water here. We can't choke this game, guys. We absolutely can't. This needs to be a simple win for us and we need to secure the title here. We cannot afford to make mistakes in this one. And already Burnley are going to be dropping really deep. But if we can get that first goal as early as possible... That'll be a big plus. Here's Haaland looking to get past the defender, but... Oh, can't. This is going to be a tough 90 minutes of football, isn't it? Although Haaland breaks through here. Goes for goal. Let's go. Just what we need, guys. Haaland with the early goal. Seven minutes in. We've taken the lead against Burnley. As things stand, we will be champions of England. And let's keep going in the right direction here. Let's try and score more. What happened against Palace was is that we couldn't take our chances. And they got the equaliser. That cannot happen now. Bruno picks up yet another assist, guys. He's now... On what, 23, 24? I don't know how many will take a look after this game. If the, you know, counting is still working. I have no idea. But let's go, boys. Haaland scores. Sees Mikel Oyarzbal. Come on. Oyarzbal now crossing this one for Marcus Rashford. Oh, what a volley from Rashford. 2-0. I was trying to get a goal with his head. But that didn't really work out. Manchester United in cruise control against 19th place Burnley. The players are in the mood to wrap up the Premier League title right here, right now. So... We ain't messing this one up, guys. Manchester United 2, Burnley 0. Let's make it 3-0 as soon as possible and wrap this game as early as possible. Chance for Burnley to score. A big save coming from Jan Oblak. We don't want to be giving any opportunities to Burnley or any hope to them. So, good that Jan Oblak saved that because 2-1, Burnley would have a chance and we do not want that kind of a scenario. Oblak with yet another save from a corner. Like a madman with Marcus Rashford right here down the wings and it's going to work. Here goes Rashford on the break. Cross coming in for Mikel Oyarzabal, has to be a goal, a simple finish from Mikel as Manchester United now make it 2-0, in fact 3-0 against Burnley, the game is done guys, no chance for a comeback here for Burnley, 3-0 up and I think we've settled the title race, you know what, I'm gonna jump to Sim now until like the 85th minute then we'll get back in. 
to watch the title celebrations. I'm confident this game is done. Well, there you go. Rashford adds another goal to the tally. It's 4-0 up against Burnley. The game is done. We, we, we're Premier League champions now. It's just a matter of time. That Palace draw has only delayed the inevitable. Well, Burnley get themselves a goal back, but as I said, 4-1 up. The game is done, guys. Let's be real. It's the 90th minute and we're jumping back in just to wrap up the game and enjoy the celebrations because... Yeah, we're winning the title, guys. We are winning the title this season. It's it's gonna happen. Just waiting for the ref to blow the final whistle. Make it happen. There you go. Manchester United are champions of England. Where are the celebrations? There you go. There are the celebrations. The crowd at Old Trafford is going nuts. Manchester United have done it. Rashford's there with a brace in this game. Haaland and Oyarzabal with the other goals. We're champions of England. Kind of annoying that I forgot to make Bruno Fernandes the captain for this game and that's why it's Ramos lifting the Premier League trophy. But, I mean, you're not going wrong with making Ramos your captain, are you? So, Bruno Fernandes, Ramos, all of them there to lift the Premier League trophy. We've made it happen, guys. We're champions of England. Ramos is going to lift the trophy for us. Let's do it, guys. Last season, we finished second in the Premier League. This season, we've won the title and we did it in style. Took us all the way to the final game, but we've done it. Manchester United, champions of England. And there you go, with 93 points, we end up as Premier League champions. We also scored 100 goals this season. We're champions of England. Manchester United first, Liverpool second, City third and Spurs fourth. Who are the teams that got relegated? Watford, Burnley and Bristol City are going right back down to the championship. Also, look at this, guys. Our trophy cabinet is now updated with the Premier League trophy as well. Let's hope we can add the Champions League to this collection. Huge episode for our season objectives as we wrapped up pretty much every objective. All we need to do is now score a header in the Champions League final, hopefully. And we'll be completing all our objectives for the season. So let's hope that can happen. Player of the episode, once again, Marcus Rashford is the contender for it, along with maybe Jan Oblak. It feels like it's the same players over and over again that win this award. But that's just because how consistent they've been this season. So Rashford is again another nominee. But for now, this is where we're wrapping up today's episode. It's not over yet. We've got one big game left as Barca take on Man United Champions League final. That's going to be in the next episode. We'll have the end of season awards ceremony. We'll take a detailed look at all of our stats, even in the Premier League, in that next episode. So it should be fun. But for now, this is where we're wrapping things up. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you all next time.